Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Pandas to merge multiple CSV files. Alright, so here in my folder, I have multiple CSV files. And let me open one of the CSV file. So this is actually a uh, historical price for Tesla from January to December. I want to combine all these files into one single master file. So that way I'll have the entire year of the uh, historical price for Tesla in one single file. And it's actually really easy to do using uh, using Pandas module. So that's the module I'm going to use uh, to merge all the CSV files. So I'm going to start by inputting the OS module and the Pandas module. And if you don't have the uh, library installed, you can use the command pip install Pandas to install the Pandas library. So I'll start by creating an empty DF and object. And I'll name the object master DF. And this master DF object is going to be our container to hold all the records. Now I want to erase all the files in this working directory. So I'm going to say that for file in OS that list the I want to list every single item given the folder path. I reference the working directory using os.getcwd. Now I want to check against the files if the file's name ends with .csv. Then I know that's the file that I want to merge. So here I'm going to uh, insert master df object and with the method that append to uh, add the new addition records. And from Pandas module, I can use the read csv method to read the csv file. And here we need to reassign the master df object. And once the loop is finished, we can save the file using to csv method. And I'll name the file master csv.cxv. Actually, let me name this to master file Tesla. I'll set the index to, uh, to false. And that's it. I sent for the entire script, we only wrote eight lines of code, and that's it. If I were going to do this in Excel using VBA or using some other programming language, uh, it would take much longer to write the script. But now let me run the Python script. Oh, I forgot to activate my environment. If I run it, and the entire task finishing 0.7 seconds. And here's the master file. Now let me open the file just to double check to make sure that I have all the uh, dates. So it's still from January 2nd, 2020, and all the way to December 31st, 2020. And here's all the historical price for Tesla of year 2020 in a CSV file. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the videos for. And as always, see you guys watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.